So in this video, we are going to discuss about cargo hold firefighting system. Uh, we have covered a uh, lot of uh, videos on firefighting. We have even covered uh, description of fire, flame, combustion, reactions, classification of fire, fire triangle, fire tetrahedron, classification of firefighting uh, as per NFPA and ISO. All those you can watch those videos. We also have covered different different system to extinguish fire, whether it's a sprinkler, hypermes, CO2, and all those systems. DCP, as well as uh, high pressure and low pressure CO2 system. See, my idea is not to teach you because I'm not a professional teacher or a professional lecturer. Okay, my idea is to just give answers and those answers uh, which is accepted by surveyor. So my idea is to make this system so uh, cumbers so uh, friendly that uh, it is being used by uh, people at one place you get all the material and you clear your exams okay so people do complain that you don't explain or you explain in hindi or english or all those things see i'm not maybe you may, may you may be having more knowledge than me yeah and that is true i, I don't have any knowledge but what is my idea is to that I do research from different sources and websites and my point is that I should be giving it all the material at one place because the problem that I face during class 4 I don't want you all to face the same problem. So uh, we have started it a couple of months back and uh, it is going on and in times to come I hope the whole syllabus will get covered okay, for future generations. Now, so to start with cargo high hold firefighting system. So we have first of all fixed installation is CO2 system. Okay, CO2 system and CO2 requirement I have covered wherein we have talked about the piping for fixed firefighting system that is going to the cargo hold that must not pass through engine room and similar such requirements are covered in the CO2 system requirement video. Please do watch that. We have in form of detectors, we have smoke detector present. We have also covered in a video the different types of smoke detector. You can watch that video, please. So, it consists of 20 mm dia sampling pipe in all cargo hold compartment of the ship. So, we have a 20 mm diameter sampling pipe. This is important. 20 mm dia sampling pipe which goes to all the cargo hold compartment of the ship. Now control, the, uh, this system is being controlled from a cabinet, the bridge or CCR, cargo control room. Air is drawn to these pipes continuously to the cabinet with the help of suction fans. This is similar to oil mist detector, OMD, regulations and construction and working I've already covered in a video. So the same way, there also they are drawing the sample from the different different chambers and compartment okay different unit of the main engine so here they are drawing samples with the suction fan from different cargo hold okay now it delivers air from diverting valve to the wheelhouse so now it is uh, diverting it is delivering that sample the air that it sucks from the uh, suction fan it delivers it to the diverting uh, through the diverting valve to the wheelhouse or the CCR, whatever you talk about, bridge or wheelhouse is same. When there is fire in any of the cargo hold compartments, smoke is sucked into the sampling pipe and is passed through diverting valve to the wheelhouse. Okay, it is passed to the wheelhouse. Now, continuously it is drawing samples. Smoke is sucked into the sampling pipe and is passed through diverting valve in the wheelhouse. Thus, warning the bridge personnel about the fire. So it is this way they are warning the bridge personnel about the fire. Simultaneously, sample is passed through a smoke detector which senses smoke and activates the audio visual alarm. Now this diversion it is for the purpose so that we can uh, simultaneously there are two process that is occurring. One is sample is sucked with the suction fan and it is passed through a diverting valve to the wheelhouse. And when there is a fire in any of the cargo hold compartments, smoke sucked into the sampling pipe and is passed through diverting valve in the wheelhouse, thus warning the bridge personnel about the fire. Simultaneously, sample is passed through a smoke detector which senses smoke and activates the audiovisual alarm. In cabinet, the sample is passed over small propellers. So there is a small propeller in the 
made of nylon through a transparent tube of 13 mm dia. Okay, there is a transparent tube that is present um, and that is just for an indication. When there will be dirty sample, then it will become black. Okay, or the thick black or the color will change. 30 mm dia indicating the flow. If propeller is not running, it means that pipe is choked. So if the propeller is not running, that can be a reason that the pipe is choked because it is it is self uh, it is propelled by that air which is sucked by that fan from the cargo hold compartment when there is a fire sampling pipe, tu pipe turns dark of the particular uh, cargo hold so there will be a different sampling pipe for different cargo hold the unit where there is a fire that unit because the transparent pipe so that sampling pipe will turn dark of the particular cargo hold this sampling pipe is connected to the bank of CO2 bottles with the help of changeover valve. Okay, CO2 is released by opening appropriate valve of the hole. So there is a valve and we open it where there is a changeover with the help of changeover valve. CO2 bottle is operated into the particular cargo hold. So this is the arrangement that we, we do have for cargo hold compartment. We have fixed, we have fixed firefighting installation that is fixed. A CO2 system and then we have smoke detector and we have a 20 mm pyre which is continuously drawing the sample sending it to the bridge or wheelhouse it is passing through uh, it is sucked by a fan and then it is passing through a transparent tube in the cabinet we have a propeller which is made of nylon and then again with the diverting valve the unit which has a fire the transparent tube turns black and with the changeover valve CO2 is operated and then CO2 is discharged into can be discharged into by operating the proper valve for that cargo hold into the particular system. Thank you so much.